respected elders, traditional, hereditary, and spiritual leaders, matriarchs, residential school survivors and day scholars, Native women, Native youth, brothers and sisters. I cannot begin to describe how absolutely proud, how absolutely proud I am to be here today. I have stood on these stairs on many, many, many occasions, but this is the first time that I've had the absolute honor of marching with our students. We left from the Native Education Center about 11.30, and for those of you that don't know, it's uh, roughly 5th in Maine. We came down Main Street across the viaduct, dipsy doodled around and made it over here. And the message is clear, it's absolutely clear that we absolutely must get rid of the Harper government. I want to, I want to commend Denise Inez and Stephen Gladue, who on Wednesday decided that this needed to happen. And they watched the Assembly of First Nations when the chiefs walked out and walked over to Parliament Hill and demonstrated and actually almost made it into the chambers. And they were inspired not by the platitudes and the uh, resolutions and the rhetoric that comes out of the Assembly, rather they were inspired by the leaders that knew that we are far beyond talking. Now, more than ever in our history, we need to begin to act. We need to march, and our voices need to be heard. And the young people that I had the honor of marching and walking with in the last few hours, the general public heard the message, they heard their proud voices, and I truly believe this is the beginning of something special. I believe after many, many decades, we once again are going to rebuild what at one time was a glorious Indian movement. There are many, many people that were around back in the day, as we say. And back then, the movement was uh, a grassroots movement. It was based on our spirituality. It was um, guided by our elders. It was guided by our spiritual people. And I believe that we are at a point where we need to come together as never, ever before. And unite with a serious sense of purpose. All of our different groups need to come together and march together until this government is long gone. I really support what these young people are talking about in terms of elevating, elevating these issues to the human rights level and taking it to the international level. For those of you in this crowd that were here back in the day, that's exactly what we talked about back in the 60s and the 70s. Exactly. So again, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, and I've been blessed with 13 grandchildren who I see everything in the light. In the light of my grandchildren, I feel much, much less apprehensive and much more confident knowing that the young people, knowing that the students are taking responsibility and are beginning to know and understand what free, prior, informed consent means. And one of the most important parts of free, prior, and informed consent is we have a responsibility to inform ourselves on exactly what's going on 
and what we need to do to push back. I know there were many, many people in the march that I've had the honor of working with over the years. And I just want to once again close off by thanking all of you for the kind invitation and for the honor of sharing this very special moment with you. I look forward to future marches, future rallies, and if I can um, make it, I'll definitely be here to support your good work. Bye, Lim Lim.